restocked on the best. Also the best. Hi guys, it's been quite the day at work. <sighs> I feel like it's been very draining, but it's just been like a Monday, Monday. But not a Monday, Monday, because it's actually been extremely, like, people have been on it today. I mean, I've been on it too, but like, it's just, people have been on one. But anyways, I just put on, I hopped in the shower to cleanse off the day, put on an Irene Fort face mask, put on a cute but cozy outfit. I'm gonna go sage this space, get all of the shit out of here, and I'm gonna get outside. It's about 5.30. I'm gonna get outside and then I'm gonna cook Blake and I a really nice dinner tonight. But one thing I will say is that even though it has been a busy day, I checked everything off that I wanted to, which feels damn good. But let's clear this energy. Good morning, you guys. It's about 9.30 on Tuesday morning. I am about to make a coffee. I just did my breath work. You guys, I love, I'm late to the game on it, but the Flamingo Estate tomato candle is the best. It's so good, and I know I'm like very late on it, but that's because I love buying candles in store, and I couldn't find it in Chicago until the other day, so. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit tired right now. But that's okay. Um, I'm gonna make a coffee right now. And yesterday I feel like was just kind of a packed day in terms of like work stuff. Um, and so, and then I like finished stuff up. I was still kind of doing stuff while I was cooking. Then finally around like 7.15 was able to do it. Okay, enough. Um, so anyways, I'm just enjoying the morning. Um, and yeah, but yesterday was productive. Like that's the thing about days like that. Even if like it's non-stop, it's still productive. So that's good. Um, and uh, yeah, I am loving this springy weather. Like I'm seriously here for it. Um, and I just wanted to stick around. Hey Google, what's the temperature gonna be tomorrow? In Chicago tomorrow, expect a high of 56 and a low of 43. Okay, so that's colder. Don't love that. Um, but anyway. Guys, I was thinking about it, and Blake, Blake and I don't have a trip planned until for a long time. Like, we literally don't have anything planned together. I have, he has his bachelor trip in June. Well, he has a business trip coming up in Nashville. Then he has his bachelor trip in June. I'll, I'm sure, I mean, we're gonna go to Iowa City a lot. I'm sure I'll go to Palm Beach at least a couple times. I kind of want to go to see my sister in DC soon, but we'll see. Um, but like Blake and I don't have anything solidified until we go together on a little like mini moon after our wedding. I don't know if I told you guys what we're doing. After our wedding, we are not sure but I think we're gonna do the South of France. So do the South of France after our wedding, and then six months later, we're gonna take like an actual honeymoon, which maybe that sounds like they're both honeymoons. But I'm considering one a mini moon and one a honeymoon. More excuses to travel, I guess. But we're going to South Africa, which is like a whole, that's a trip. So, mm. If any of you have done safaris <clears throat> that you like, like that you loved and would recommend, you should reach out to me. Um, or if you just like don't even have one that you recommend but you have insights, let me know. Okay, I'm gonna do a little Pilates action 
and then we're gonna go out on our morning errands. So the elbows on the shoulder. Little mini grocery haul. White asparagus that I'm serving tonight with duck because both are tray French. Um, mushrooms. I stocked up on organic cucumbers and celery because it was on sale. Um, uh, broccoli, um, pineapple, and then mango. And I'm gonna make a fruit bowl right now with some pineapple and mango. When spring comes, I love to do like little swaps. So I switch out the salt dish and then also I can't stop wearing these pants. Um, and then I switch out like here. Now I have a little tea light candle. I've been putting fresh florals out instead of dried. Um, the little flamingo estate candle. Um, yeah, just like little things. And I think on the top shelf, I'm gonna get the flamingo estate book, Fridays from the Garden, because um, it'll go really well with those two that are on the bottom. But just like freshen your space for spring, it always feels good. Hello, I am currently in Wicker Park. I just met Deb at her home and had a tea with her. It was lovely. Um, I just took her, I had some goodies Thanks. for her um, because it's the day before her birthday. So I dropped them off and now I am walking to Wilder House because I need to get some tea, or not tea, I just had tea. Um, I need to get a couple things from there. I just need to like restock on a soap random things like that and then I'm gonna pop by Olivia's Market which is a little um just like a little grocery store I want to pick up some florals I think I'm gonna get some ranunculus or if they have hyacinths I'll get those so anyways just doing that and I am just having a little day it's been great a little brandy run and also duck, but it's like the smallest duck breast ever, so I'll just be having that. And potentially a bite of duck, but it's teeny tiny. It shrunk, like literally half the size. That's what I call sleep in, you guys. Good morning, you guys. Sleep in, face mask, hot water coming. Nine, eight, one reverse the circle. We're off to go get a coffee. Hello, girls. I just got home from coffee walk situation it's already pretty late um just because i started my day later so i'm quickly putting these flowers in water and then i'm going to make an extra late breakfast um one thing about me is i'm a three meals a day type of girl so i really even if i like sleep in and start eating later i will still be eating i just like i, I don't know like i don't like doing like I was actually talking to Deb about this yesterday. I don't really like brunch. Like, I like having, like, I love, like, a nice, like, lighter breakfast. And then, aka, like, fruit. And then, like, on the weekends, croissant or something. Um, and then, I love, like, a lunch that has, like, a nice protein in it. And then a dinner that's like well-rounded with like more cooked veg and carbs and protein. So anyways, I don't know how I got on that. Oh, just because like three meals a day. Like, I don't know. Even if I sleep in, I actually don't know. I think I might have to do some of these ranunculus in here. And then a couple just... And I kind of want to do that. Like couple here, a couple by the bedside maybe. I think that's kind of pretty. Maybe I put these by the bedside. Yeah. And we're doing a pajama Pilates. Little Amazon delivery. I just got another scrapbook. Um, these are the ones I use and the reason I use them is because I think they'll all look really great like in a library someday because they're so simple so they're just like a cream linen kind of more honest company wipes and then these are tea filter bags that are unbleached for loose leaf tea and then from saison i just got a pair of cream really beautiful trousers and a new makeup bag good evening you guys i just got out of the shower and put on some of my favorite. I love this stuff. The Cerulean 
six body oil and then I used my body paddle. Um, and yeah, I, as I said to you guys, I literally had just like a pretty chill day. I slept in and then like major, like I don't know the last time I slept in until 10 a.m. I think it was in high school probably. So did that. Um, I was shocked when I saw my clock, but I didn't have any calls today. So I felt grateful that I could do that. And then went out on a long walk, came home, did a few hours of work, and then ended the day with a Tasha pajama Pilates. Well, actually I talked to my cousin while I worked on my photo book and then did a Tasha pajama Pilates. Went for another walk and then came back. And I just heated up some leftovers for dinner. Um, kind of just like a grill dinner. And then I, so I did like a veggie bowl and with like a tahini sauce. And then I topped it with crispy guanciale. Just pork cheek, it's really good. Um, but anyways, so that was the agenda this afternoon slash evening. And then, yeah, I just showered. I'm gonna spray some of this Symbiotica magnesium on my body but it's about i think it's about 8 30 and yeah i'm tired <laughs> so i'm getting ready to just wind down also if any of you are reading anything that you really love please let me know i have been really struggling in the reading department i still read um I'm a big reader, but I just haven't liked a book in like a long time besides the French women series. Like I liked that, but I want like an actual like fiction book. So let me know if you know of anything. Um, also, I had someone ask me about like weeknight dinners and like if I could do a section on that and I'll definitely like implement more of that kind of stuff. Um, but I thought it was just kind of overview. So we eat the same during the week that we eat during the, or that we, we eat the same way during the week as we do during the weekend because I am at home during the week. So I'm able to like spend time in the kitchen and I make sure that I cross that out and like, I just make that a priority. So I'm not like a big fan of like weeknight dinners, um, but I have cooking, I, I have my time in the kitchen kind of down to the science. And usually I start cooking dinner at six, 5.45 or six. And then dinner will be ready by 6.45 or seven. I like to do one protein, one carb, and then a couple veggies. Um, Honestly, it can be the simplest. Like if I'm going simple, simple, and I guess this was where the weeknight could come into it, just do one veggie. So do a protein, a carb, and a veggie. Um, I just like to have a couple because I like variety. I love like being able to take different bites and stuff. I don't know. Um, I like making a spread. So also getting the same essence. Um, so like an example would be, I didn't like last night's dinner because it was that nasty duck. Um, which like, I don't think duck in the US is the same as duck in France because the duck in France was delicious. And the duck that we made last night, her so it shriveled up like crazy. And it was really gamey. Um, but anyways, the night before that I made a steak for Blake and I, I'll make, I think, like a pound of steak, and that's plenty of steak. So the night before I did steak, crispy potatoes, and then I think I did roasted Brussels sprouts, which were so good, and how I did those was I took the Brussels sprouts whole and I boiled them, and then bo boiled them in very heavily salted water. After boiling them for four minutes, I took them out, and I put them, or I toss them with butter. I cook with butter a lot, um, butter and olive oil, but, um, and then avocado oil if I'm making like a steak or something, but um, toss them in butter, salt and pepper, put them on a cookie sheet and then smashed them 
which gets the water out and then I baked them and they get super crispy. So steak, Brussels sprouts, a Caesar salad, um, potatoes, and I think I made one more. I think I made mushrooms. Cause honestly, I think mushrooms go so well with steak. Um, so that's like an example of a dinner I would make. If I was doing something that took longer, like another weeknight dinner that I'll do is like, if I do like a slow roasted thing, that's only in the winter. But if I do like a short rib or something, that takes while, take, takes a while. So like a short rib or a beef bourguignon, bourguignon or a cocovin, mm, I'll start at like three. But then it's super easy because you literally can serve it with like whole roast, like all just roasted potato bowl. I'm not a big mashed potato person. I don't love the texture. So that's why I don't do like a whipped or a mashed potato with them. Um, but if you are a whipped potato person, totally do that. Um, with your short ribs or your beef working on. Um, and then a vegetable. Um, and if you want a salad, but like you don't even have to do a salad with that. Like you can literally just do a carb and a veg and that and it's so easy. Um, but anyways, so those are like some examples of like dinners that I like to cook, but I'm a big formula girl, like protein, carb, some veg. Um, another good one is like, also this is like the best, the Burt's Bees almond it and milk and cream. It's so good. Um, and I actually put it on my feet too, cause my feet get really dry. Um, but, also, okay, I don't know if anyone else has this. Can you tell I'm tired? Um, I cannot handle like dirty feet or dry feet. Like Blake thinks it's crazy, but I'll like wash my feet. Like if I feel like they're getting gross, I'll just like wash them. I don't know. I'm like, it just like grosses me out. But I'm the same way with my hands. I wash my hands like way too often. Um, Another one is like, I love seafood, so we'll make fish a lot. So a great one would be like sea bass, steamed broccoli, roasted sweet potato and Caesar salad, or like salmon, steamed broccoli, sweet potato, Caesar salad, or salmon, steamed broccoli, crispy potatoes, Caesar salad, or salmon, steamed broccoli, some sort of potato, Caesar salad, croutons or skip the potato croutons. Um, but I told you guys, like, we're big potato people. Other than potatoes, we do sourdough, focaccia, or if I bring bread from the bread garden, but I really don't buy bread here. I always make it, so, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna watch some vlogs and go to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Hi guys, I just got done teaching and quickly threw on an outfit and I'm gonna go to an on-site client shoot. So quick, fast and furious day. Um, I'm gonna see you guys when I'm done. Girl dinner. I think it's like, it always comes and back to like, I'm it's such watching a small world. Girls like once from you start talking someone, like Hi ladies, I'm going to make my delicious potatoes. My favorite potatoes ever. Hey Google, how much time is left? You've got six minutes. While I tell you a story about life and being an adult and honestly like working school whatever so long story short i had something that i was set to do for work that it was like a coordination thing i think i might have talked about this actually like earlier i don't know anyways getting something somewhere on time i'm gonna leave it at that and there were some issues with delivery things kept getting pushed back and so I had to replace the order. I replaced it. I just like made it so that we would just have extras, but it would be delivered on time. Long story short, something happened where there was some sort of a miscommunication. I, I don't know why I'm going as in depth as I am. Long story short, I did everything in my power to ensure that something happened and something went awry. I don't know if it was with someone else or with a, an agency or company or what. And what I had like spent hours and hours trying to get to work did not work. So all I'm saying here is that sometimes we do everything in our power 
to make something a certain way or to make something happen or to make someone do something even and it does not happen and it's in those times where we often learn the most but like we hold the most frustration also these are boiled and baked potatoes um i tossed them in butter salt and pepper um i'm a big fan of cooking with butter which i already told you guys anyways and i was just getting super frustrated and honestly kind of defensive because i was like this is not my fault and i just talked to blake and he was like okay how's the outcome going to change like yeah you can reach out to these 10 people and let them know that it's not your fault but how can that how's the outcome going to change and i was like well it's not and he was like there's my point let it go Henry. and i was like yeah god you're such a great businessman blake um but i just feel like i mean i used to do this to myself in school too where like i would literally like it's almost like a pride thing where like if something doesn't come to fruition in the way that you want it to like you have to make it known that like i did everything in my power to make sure that it would go this way and i know that i know we're very similar i mean most of you some of you maybe not i mean i think we all have our similarities and our differences but i feel like i know some of you and like i know that we have similarities and it's just it is something that I know we all grapple with and like it's okay things happen shit happens um so i just wanted to like share that to let you guys know that because i was really i mean i've talked about this on here before and i literally never talk about my work on here so like clearly it hit a nerve for me but yeah, now I'm making some roasted veggies for dinner and my stomach has been so upset today. Like, I haven't really been able to like stomach anything. Like, I I literally had like, I tried for lunch to have some, I had fruit this morning and I tried for lunch to have some bone broth with like some spinach and like some carrots in it. And I just felt so, like my stomach has just been so wonky. I don't know what it is. Um, so I'm nursing this drum and actually it's been kind of helping, but I honestly think it's probably hurting just cause I've stressed myself out over nothing. So anyways, I am, I was going to make chicken, but I didn't want to. So I opted for veggies. So that's what I'm doing. Nothing gets me like a new mug. Pilates then, action so and then double masking. I have the Irene fort the on and then also the under eye. And I never sweat when I, I do Pilates, so that's why I do this. You know the drill, time for coffee. Also, I just got this Lulu Studios coat and it's massive, but I love it. It's like super white, cozy vibe. I've been looking for a white coat, so. So clean. I love it. We're going for a little walk. Blake just got back. And the space is nice and clean and clean. And I feel like I'm in a good place for work for the weekend. And the sun is the sun is shining bright. Dinner's done. I'm having some Munya tea. And I'm gonna have what's new? A granola bar. And we're gonna go to bed and hopefully sleep 12 hours because we're both exhausted so i'll see you in the morning good morning you guys happy saturday i just had a nice morning i slept in and then just did a tasha franken of course and we're gonna head out right now for coffee it's already like 11 so um yeah, also, I feel like everyone needs a top like this. Like, it's not the cutest top, but it's just easy to wear. And I like, like, the weathered fabric. This one is by, I think, 360 Cashmere. Um, and it's just, like, a nice, easy piece, you know? Um, and it's, like, not insanely adorable or anything, but it just, like, it goes with a lot. It's easy to wear. I don't know. I just really like it. So, yeah, quick eyelash curl, some U Beauty, 
lip balm. You guys know the, you know the drill. I feel like I should maybe just put on a touch of moisturizer. Before I do my eye patches, I do not moisturize because otherwise they go slippy and slidey on me. Um, but I feel like my skin could use a little drink of water, a drink of whatever, of some hydration. So we're gonna go just a light layer of Sisoplast. Cause it is a heavy cream, but if you go light with it, like it doesn't, some heavy creams are just like aggressive no matter how you put it. I feel like Sisoplast, if you do a light layer of it, like it feels a lot lighter. I mean, it's still heavy. A little bit of super goop eye cream. This is a great eye cream for during the day. Just adds a really nice, healthy glow. Okay. Let's skedaddle and go get a coffee. So I feel like I never show lunch, but this is like a classic lunch. I have a salad with like, this is like half a container of sardines, um, the ones that are packed in olive oil and Mary's Gone Crackers and the salad is just dressed with a lot of olive oil, but sometimes I'll also do it with like Caesar or I'll do it with um, mustard, like a mustard vinaigrette. But I just like a lot of olive oil because I think it just is a nice healthy fat. And I haven't been into avocado lately, but once I get back into it, probably this summer, I would do avocado and then I'd probably swap for shrimp because I like shrimp with avocado. Little garlic confit. This has been in for like, oh, holy shit. Well, wow, that's gonna be really good. It's been in for like, I think like two and a half hours, three hours at 325 and it's like perfectly gooey and delicious. We're in the kitchen. Um, you guys, I feel like I just haven't updated you today, which honestly was slightly intentional because I was just kind of like in the zone. I got some work done and then also, I'm eating chicken thighs and broccoli, but um, I got some work done and then I ended up going out and running some errands and like pretty much just stayed here, worked. Um, but for errands, I went out to Blue Mercury and I picked up the Cerulean. I really like that line. Um, but the body wash, because I haven't gotten the body wash yet and I'm out of the body wash, so I got that. And then I got, um, also if you don't have to do fresh ground pepper, I highly recommend it. Um, and then I got the U Beauty Lip Plasma in Poppy, but they had to order it, so got that. And then, hold on, I'm gonna put my chicken in the oven. But then I went to Italy, and oh, this is beautiful. I went to Italy, and then I went to Trader Joe's. And I'm gonna show you guys this chicken that looks like. This is my brown butter chicken. Stunning. Post dinner, sometimes I just like to go through after I clean our space and just Palo Santo to clear the energy. And I keep the windows open. It's just like the best. But it's almost nine and I I feel like I've been kind of on one this evening. I don't know why. I was just on the phone with my dad and I was like, I feel like we're both crappy. <laughs> but anyways, I feel like it's just like, I don't know. I'm ready for bed, I guess. Okay, I'll see you in the morning. Start time getting down. Mm -hmm. I never really do a full fledged grocery shop on Sundays, but I'll do like a simple restock. Okay, moment of truth. Pistorius chocolate croissant. The best chocolate croissant in Chicago, in my opinion, but we haven't had it in like a month or more, honestly. We haven't had it in months, ready? How's it? It's so good. It's like honestly as good as Rosé in Mexico City. Mm. That 
It's a croissant. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, that's the type of croissant we should be getting everywhere. It's perfectly done. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Just blanched some kale for a salad for tonight and prepping tzatziki for to go with lamb meatballs. Lamb meatballs. Okay, you guys, I was gonna make pretzels and they failed. So I turned the dough into these honey butter buns. I don't know, they don't look half bad. I thought they'd be really good served with like green beans and chicken quarters as like kind of southern vibes. I don't know. 